Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the men that's pushing his word throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life and freedom to do so now more than ever. All right, and peace and blessings to the brothers that are. To the brothers and sis and sisters that are listening and learning, Salakia, to y'all say Shalom. It's the brother you want to thank coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, all right? And, you know, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. But, you know, at, in this lesson, you know, it's going to be quick. Don't want to make it too long. But I'm going to go into, man, riches profit not, man. All right, and I'm going to start at uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4, and it says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death, man. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, man. All right, and hey, we know the times that we are in, and we also know the times that we are approaching. All right, it don't matter how much money you got saved in your bank account. It don't, it don't matter how much money... All right, you know, you're working for right now. It don't matter, man. Your riches aren't going to mean anything in that day to come. All right, because we are coming into some serious times, whether you believe it or not, man. And you have many people out here that's, um, you know, working, trying to attain a bag. But like the scripture says, it's a bag with holes filled. Uh, it's a bag with holes uh, filled with it, man. And the majority, you know, people with that mindset is Jake, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right. Hey, Babylon is finished, man. All right. So, you know, we understand we need to get our daily bread, man. But the scriptures also tell us about being uh, content, man. All right. You got majority of these people killing themselves, all right, for a dollar. And it doesn't have no value, man. All right, and I also want to grab, um, uh, let me go to verse 28. This is um, Proverbs 11, verse 28. He that trusted in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch, man. All right, and in that time, all these people are going to try to trust in their riches, man. Oh, I got this amount of money. Well, you know, how far can me and my family go? Or, you know, they're going to, you know, prep, doomsday prep. All right, but what does it say? It says that he that trusts in his riches shall fall, man. And all of these people are gonna fall. Why? Because a hey, Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter thirty three verse six says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man." And what is thy times? The times that we are coming into, man. Jacob's trouble. All right, a time that has never been uh, before since there was a nation. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, and that's the times that we coming into, man. All right, but it says wisdom and knowledge are going to be stability. It's like it be the stability of thy times, man. You know, not your riches, man. But what do these people do here? These people, you know, it all comes to money. All right, you even got women. You know, women uh, judge you, or you know, t you know, you know, your value comes on you know how much money you make, man. And that's the majority of these people, man. But hey, but we put what, man? We put all our, we put everything in your how about your mouth shy, all right? Hey, and, and scripture also tells us to lay not for yourself treasures upon earth, man. All right, because this place is done, man. All right, you got many people, a hey, you know, many people before us have tried to build something here only for it to be, you know, their demise, man. For them to not gain anything, for them to be cut out of deals. And this is what this place leads you, man. All right. Uh, let me go to um, Proverbs chapter. Uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 23. All right. And I'm going to go to verse four. And it says, labor, labor not to be rich. Seize from thy own wisdom, all right? Labor not to be rich, man. All right, we labor, all right, to get our daily bread, man. All right, pay these, you know, little bills that we, you know, have to pay 
to make sure, you know, our lights, you know, on or whatever the case may be. We, we know that's all of the Lord, all right? But we're not trying to be rich on this side, man. Uh, we're not trying to receive no consolation in Babylon the Great, all right? Because we understand that this place is corrupted, man, all right? We understand that, hey, Scripture tells us to wait on the Lord, all right? Because, hey, in the kingdom of heaven, that's when we're going to get our rest, man. Uh, but what do these people do, man? These people labor to be rich, all right? Working 10, 11, 12-hour shifts. And we understand most of these cases, you know, they have to provide for their family, man. But you have, mo you know, most people, you know, especially these, you know, top A celebrities, top A athletes, man, they labor to be rich, man. All right? And that's not the mindset of us, a man of the Lord, Lord willing, all right? And bringing out this lesson, man, because a lot of these people have been deceived, man. All right. They think that just because they have a million, two million, the 50 million, 100 million, that that actually means something, man. This, you know, just wait till this dollar crashes. Then what? All right. A lot of people are going to be in for what's the word? A lot of people are going to be, you know, a lot, a lot of people's lives are going to you know, be ruined when they understand that they've been lied to their whole life, man. That everything that they so-called work for, every, you know, everything that, they, that they've been told is a lie, man. All right, because, in, hey, man, in times to come, Jacob's trouble, all right, people going to be wiping their ass with dollar bills, a $100 bill, 50 It don't matter, all right? But, hey, we've been brought up this whole time being here. All right, if you got money, that's the, uh, you know, that's the route to solve all your issues, man. All right, but, hey, the Wadi Yahabah Shem Shah for revealing himself unto us, we understand that, hey, we need, we need the Lord, man. All right, we don't need these fake Esau bucks, man. But all these people would do is care about money here, man. All right? And uh, let me get First Timothy. Um... Nah, I don't want to make this lesson too long. All right, this is First Timothy chapter six, and I'm gonna start at um, verse nine, and it says, "But they, uh, but uh, let me start. Uh, let me start at verse seven, and it says." For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Hey, that's right. And it says, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. That's right, man. If you got food, if you got some clothes to put on your back, all right, you should be content, man. All right. But hey, you know, these people want the extravagant things in life, man, especially on this side. And we understand, you know, we Jake. But at the end of the day, you got to wait on the Lord, man. Or a lot of people be trying to take things into their own hand. But it, hey, at the end, it's at their demise, man. All right. It says what? Hey, oh, going back to verse 7. All right. For we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out, man. All right. I'm going to go to verse 9. And it says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. All right. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. All right. It's not money. All right. It's the love of money, man. Many people have what? Um... Scripture says to you can't serve two masters, man. Many people put money as they God, man. And it, 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 what is the God of mammoth, all right? Many people worship this thing, man. Many people, every day, that's what's on their mind. Money, 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 money. And we understand, you know, you need money to survive in this society that we live in. But, hey, man, when you have understanding, you understand it's the Lord that provides you with the things that you need, because there's many times that I know many brothers could, um, you know, many brothers can contest to this, that, you know, you, you may, you may wake up and you don't have, you know, the money that you need, but you still eat, you know, you still get the point A for point B. All right. 
whatever bills that you have, hey, the Lord makes sure that he provides and get those little things done, man. All right, but these people be out here chasing money, man. All right, and that's only going to lead to their demise. It says, um, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, man. Hey, that's these people. All right. You got many people with money just because they have money. They try all these, you know, weird and, you know, these weird things just because they have money. All right. Um, I'm going to grab one more precept and wrap this thing up. All right. Lord willing. Hey, but the point has been made, man. All right. Follow. Hey, seek your how about your mouth shot first. Seek the kingdom first. And all these things shall be added unto you, all right? Because this world is going to be destroyed, man, and all the things that's in it, all right? For the fashions of this world passeth away, man, all right? So seek the kingdom, all right? And it says, this is James chapter 5, verse 1, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come. So like, I'm going to start from the top. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten, man. And this is going to you sellouts, man. All right? Especially of our people. All right? Your riches are corrupted because you sold out to the so-called white man, man. All right? And it says your gold and silver is, is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye shall help treasure together. For the last days, all right? Hey, uh, uh, let me keep going. All right, it says, Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cried, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of the Sabbath oath. So lucky if I mispronounce it, ye have lived in you ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he and he doth not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband, the husband, the hunts, the husband man waited for your precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain, man. All right. And that's speaking about the elect, man. Going to verse seven, it says, be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord, man. All right. And that's the light manner that we should be. All right. Be patient on the Lord, waiting on the Lord, man. All right, and, and that husband, man, all right, is speaking about Yahweh Shah. All right, and it says, Be also patient, establish, establish your hearts for the coming of for the coming of the Lord. Draw off not. All right, so that's the point, man. Us brothers, we need to wait upon the Lord, man. All right, because hey man, these riches here in Babylon are great. All right, they ain't gonna profit in that day of judgment. All right, so I wanted to bring out this quick lesson through the Spirit and power. Y'all about Shema Shah. All right, I pray that this lesson was edifying. But with that, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Merkau Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that we well. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole full of scattered abroad. Till next time, I'm going to say Shalom and a Ba'ashem.